Good morning everyone. Welcome back to grade 4 mathematics class. How are you all doing today? Today, let's learn about symmetry. Now, what is symmetry? Look at these pictures given here. You can see these pictures in page number 120 of your textbook. So, the first picture, the picture of a butterfly. You see a red dashed line that goes to the middle. See, if I cut or divide or fold this image along this dashed line, I'll get two equal halves, right? Or two identical halves. I'll get one left half and one right half. Will they look the same? Yes, they look exactly the same. And suppose I'm keeping one mirror along this line and I'm seeing the reflection of this left half in the mirror. That reflection of the left half will look exactly like the right half, right? So you can say the two halves are mirror images of each other. So when you cut or when you divide this figure or this shape or this picture along this line, you will get two equal halves or identical halves or mirror images. Now what about this picture? You can see a drawing of the Taj Mahal here. There also you can see a red dashed line. If you fold this image along this dashed line, you'll get two identical halves or mirror images. One half will be the mirror image or it will look the same as that of the other half. Now, what about the third picture? We can see the picture of a flower there, a red dashed line going through the picture and you'll see there are two identical halves, one on the left and one on the right. And these identical halves or equal halves of this picture are mirror images of each other when you cut or fold this picture along the line given there. So this phenomenon is called symmetry. So what is symmetry? When a shape or an object can be folded or divided into identical halves or mirror images along a line, we say it is symmetrical. Clear? Now what do you mean by line of symmetry? Here you can see three more examples of symmetric figures. In the first figure, see this line? This line can divide this shape into identical halves or mirror images. One half will be the reflection or mirror image of the other half. Here also this line will divide this figure into a left half and right half which are identical or mirror images. See in this case of the square here, you can see there are four lines possible which can divide this square into identical halves or mirror images. This line, you'll get a left and right half. Along this line, you'll get a top half and a bottom half. And we can see diagonals which can divide this square into identical halves which are triangles. And they will look the same. One will be the reflection or mirror image of the other half. So these lines, lines like this, which divide the image into two identical halves. So such lines, the line dividing the images into two identical halves is called the line of symmetry or it is also called the axis of symmetry or mirror line. Now this type of symmetry is called line symmetry or reflection symmetry. You learn about the different types of symmetry in your higher classes. Now we'll see some more examples of symmetry. We can see a few English letters here which are symmetrical and these letters have more than one line of symmetry. The letter H, it has a vertical line of symmetry and a horizontal line of symmetry. It will look the same. The halves will look the same or will be reflections of each other if you fold or divide this letter along any of these lines. Now the letter O, it also has a vertical and a horizontal line of symmetry. Here also a vertical and horizontal line of symmetry for the letter I. Here the letter X also has a vertical and a horizontal line of symmetry. So for the same shape or object, you can have more than one line of symmetry. Now, these are a few examples of symmetry that you can see in nature. We can see symmetry all around us in flowers, in fruits and in animals. Even the human body is considered symmetrical along a vertical line of symmetry. You have a left half and right half which are mirror images of each other. Now, 
You can see symmetry in man-made things as well. Here are a few examples of man-made structures which have symmetry. The Eiffel Tower in Paris, we can see there is a vertical line of symmetry possible for the structure and here is a giant view and this one also is symmetrical along a diameter. Now, we can see the picture of the Taj Mahal, one of the seven wonders of the world. The Taj Mahal is considered as one of the most symmetrical structures ever built in history. Now we'll do one activity. This is from exercise 8.3 that is in page number 121 of your textbook. You see the first question, draw the line or lines of symmetry for the following figures. And you can see four figures given here. The first one is a hexagon. Now how we can draw lines of symmetry for a hexagon? See, a line like this can divide this hexagon into identical halves or mirror images like this like this now let's draw a line which passes to the center of these sides like this now a similar line to the other sides to the center of the other sides now, how many lines we drew here we draw six lines six lines of symmetry for this hexagon which can divide the hexagon into mirror images or identical halves so a hexagon has got six sides and that is also a regular polygon. So for a regular polygon in general, the number of lines of symmetry possible is equal to the number of sides of the regular polygon. Now, here you can see the English letter V. How can we draw a line of symmetry for the letter V? We can draw a vertical line of symmetry for the letter V. You have to use your ruler and pencil by drawing the lines. Now, you can see a regular polygon here and it has got four sides. So, how many lines of symmetry will be possible for it? Since it has got four sides and it is a regular polygon, four lines of symmetry are possible for this figure. So, the lines would be one vertical, one horizontal and passing through the center of sides. So, you have four lines of symmetry possible for this figure. Now, here you have a circle. So for a circle, you can have infinite lines of symmetry which pass through the center of the circle like this. It can be any diameter which divide the circle into identical halves or mirror images. Now you can go through the topic symmetry and mirror image in page number 120 and 121 of your textbook. Go through the topics once and then you have to complete the exercise, exercise 8.3. The first question we have already done in the class, you have to complete the second question. The second question is to draw the mirror images of the following figures. A few figures are given there, you have to draw the mirror images or reflections of the figures given there. So if a line appears to be going towards left, the reflection will make it appear like it is going towards right. So you have to complete the exercise 8.3. You can do this in your textbook itself. And in the next page, page number 122, you can see activities given under the heading LS, fun with maths and maths lab activity. So you go through these activities as well and do accordingly. So that's all for today children. We'll meet in the next class. Till then, bye.